Donald Trump really 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 wants you to pay attention to him and his antics today. The trouble, he doesn't have anything to say and it's becoming increasingly clear that he has no remaining ammunition. Take, for instance, how he approached things today when he decided that he desperately needed to distract us from the real news. First, Donald Trump had one of his House GOP allies release a rather old testimony transcript from Bruce Ohr, a Department of Justice official whom Trump has been dishonestly attacking for the past year. Trump must have thought this was going to have a big impact and finally get the public to come around to seeing Ohr as some kind of dark overlord who has managed to frame Trump for conspiring with Russia. But by midday, it was clear that no one cared, even a little bit. We've all seen this one too many times before, of course. Remember when Trump promised us that the Devin Nunes memo was somehow going to expose the big conspiracy against him? Trump hyped that one for weeks, and the mainstream media ate it up, only for the memo to predictably turn out to be a complete dud. Now Trump is trying to spin Bruce Orr's harmless testimony as evidence that Orr is the devil himself. No one cares. B why the afternoon, Donald Trump must have realized his Orr gambit had failed. He began frantically posting more than a dozen tweets and retweets in rapid fashion, including retweeting some guy named Paul Sperry six times for no apparent reason, all in an attempt at getting something to stick. Nonetheless, the public's focus today is still on Trump's criminal scandals. Whatever impending bombshell he's trying to distract us from, it clearly isn't working. Trump is firing blanks 